So what are Aspire components? Hi, I'm Damien. I'm an architect on the .NET Aspire team, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Aspire components today. Aspire components are just NuGet packages. They're a special kind of NuGet package that integrates and glues together common client libraries that you use to connect to things like databases and messaging services into your .NET Aspire application and enabling lots of great features along the way. Let's go ahead and take a look at an application. So in this application here, you can see that I've got an instance of a Redis cache, a Postgres database, and my web application itself that uses that Redis cache and that Postgres database. But this is the orchestration part of the app. It's not my actual web application that's going to talk to both of those services. So how do I get the clients into my application that will do that talking? Well, that's what Aspire components are for. Over here, I can look at the NuGet gallery, but this has been filtered down to just so Aspire components. And you can see that we've got a list of Aspire components here that includes uh, components for common things that you probably use today. Things like Redis, things like Postgres, SQL Server, and even cloud provided services uh, from things like Azure. If I look at the program CS for my actual web application now, this is where we start to consume the pieces of those Aspire components. So as I said, in this application, I need to talk to a Postgres database and I need to talk to a Redis cache. So whereabouts am I doing that in here now that I've got those Aspire components? Well, I've got a one single line up the top here, this line 12, where I'm adding the Redis output cache component to my web application. And you can see it's really just as simple as that one line. What is happening all behind that one line? Well, that's gonna go ahead and add the appropriate Redis client to the application. It's going to reference my Redis instance that I named back in my orchestration project using the name cache here. And it's gonna configure that Redis client for things like resiliency. So retries get set up, I've got tracing and diagnostics enabled, and even health checks, which integrates with the ASP.NET Core health check system. That's all enabled out of the box with just that one line. A little further down, we can see how I'm configuring the Postgres component as well. So I'm using Entity Framework Core here. We can see me adding my DB context on line 17. And then right after that, I'm enriching that DB context using the Aspire component for Postgres for Entity Framework Core. So I call this enrich method, and that adds all the same kind of things, but this time for my Postgres server instead of for my Redis server. Now, I can control aspects of what the component turns on. So here you can see I'm using code to ensure that the health checks are turned on. But one of the things that Aspire components do is they let you do that through configuration. So if I go over to this application's configuration file, which is my app settings.json file, you'll note I've got some configuration here that looks like it's to do with this Postgres server. One of the nice things that happens is that I now get IntelliSense for all the things that I can configure about this connection to Postgres thanks to that Aspire component. It actually brings in all the metadata required to drive this IntelliSense. So lastly, over in my actual uh, Blazor page that's gonna use one of these components, I can use the, the built-in output cache attribute now to enable the caching that's using that Redis uh, instance that I set up through Aspire. So if I go over to the application, I can see that it's running. Uh, this is the Aspire dashboard. I can see my uh, Redis instance, I can see my database, and I can see my web application. The web application is running. I can go to the weather page, and you can see that it took about a second there for that to load. But if I hit refresh, it was much quicker, and that's because I enabled that output caching, which was configured by that Aspire component. If I go back to my dashboard, and I go over to the traces view, and I scroll down, we can see a few requests here to that weather page. If I click on one of those, we can see that telemetry information coming through about that call to Redis, and that's there thanks to, in part, the Aspire component for Redis. So that was a very quick, uh, quick look at components in Aspire and what they do for me in my application, making it really, really easy to connect to existing services that you probably use today, but pre-configure them so that they're resilient, uh, they're observable, you get tracing for them, and that they integrate with health checks for your system.